Hey everyone, this is Martin Patella at Life Enthusiast Online TV and Radio Network coming to you with Elijah Free, Master Herbalist at Earth Friend. Hello, Elijah. Hi, Martin. Great to be here today. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Yeah. Let's talk about the herb combinations that you have for dealing with people's exhaustion. Mm -hmm. We have been living in an overstressed world and we have been uh, I get so many calls from people saying I am dragging I can't get my mojo happening mm -hmm. going on why am I so tired all the time mm -hmm. I think you may have some answers here no we do on that well many things can cause one being tired probably the most common things these days would be things like adrenal exhaustion just too much stress, and as we've talked about uh, today several times, on an MTHFR. So we have different things for different types of, well, tiredness. So for example, adrenal exhaustion, we suggest the adrenal formula. And if you want to find a protocol to learn how to use this for the exhaustion, you can go to earthfriendherb.com and click on that. Um, with it, and that will give you all kinds of, of protocols on there on how to take that uh, more if you have adrenal exhaustion. Of course, clicking on that then takes you to Life Enthusiast where you can get the product and be in touch with Martin. For um, just more energy, we have our Safe Energy product that we talked about. But here I'm going to talk about uh, one of my favorite single herbs in the world, which is rhodiola. We have a source of rhodiola that comes from China. This stuff is uh, grown organically. Now, I'm told that some of the very, very high people in China, actually their rhodiola comes from the same harvesting place, the same farm. So that's a pretty exciting thing. So that's some of the nicest rhodiola in the world that you can get. Now, um, as I was mentioning to Martin on another talk here is, unfortunately, about six, eight years ago, I had a, a heart attack that was almost fatal. I recovered from it fantastically, even though the doctor said I wouldn't. But when I was out of the hospital and then back at work, I was exhausted. I was really having a hard time. And my energy wasn't coming up. And I had just been starting to study um, adaptogens at the time. I was reading about rhodiola, got incredibly excited, ordered some from my favorite house on that, made some tincture, and I took it for about the next five months. At that point, at the end of the five months, I joined a gym, and then broke every running record I had ever done in my life. I contributed my recovery, I'll be very honest, to the rhodiola on that, a good portion of it. Now, what adaptogens do is this, is they help your body through stressful periods. A lot of people can't heal because their bodies are just too stressed. Okay, very common, people come in, it looks like it should happen. They get all the right stuff. They do all the right things. They go home and nothing takes off. No ignition, no nothing. We don't go to the moon. So we have two classifications of herbs to help. One are tonic herbs, which we have all kinds of digesties and all sorts of things like that, that actually help the cells to absorb better, okay, and to work better. Rhodiola, however, comes in and literally you can say, provides the specialized nutrients to help the cell recover from the stress of being ill, injured, hurt, sick, uh, all kinds of things like that, and then just takes the stress literally and deals with that in an incredible chemical metabolic manner. Rhodiol is my favorite. I wasn't going to do any singles, and I chose two singles to do that I thought were just exemplary that people should have really the best that they can get um, at a really, really fair price. So that's how rhodiola came. And I have to tell you, that herb and I are awfully close. I then, at that point, began to reformulate some of my older formulas, and you'll see rhodiola in some of them. Um, and then I started to design new formulas. And if you look at things, say, like the PTSD formula, on that uh, cortisol ease, you'll see some fairly large amounts of rhodiola in these areas. Then you look at other things, and yes, I do use other adaptogens also too, but rhodiola is kind of my go-to friend for that. Everybody else are my great acquaintances and stuff, but rhodiola is my big hitter for numbers of things. So that's the story on rhodiola. And all I have to say is to the rhodiola spirit, thank you. <laughs> I tell you, recovering from a heart attack that's an experience that I wish on no one. And well, let me tell you, 
When, <clears throat> after about a month of the gym, I nailed five miles under an hour. That was my average run, five miles under an hour I did for years. I could do on that. And that was from the Riola. And truthfully, I never ran that good until mm -hmm. after uh, the long term with the Rodeola. And I took it for years. Fantastic. All right. Well, and there's this other single herb that you have offered, which is maca. So to those who don't actually know what maca does, I mean, the, the most common maca, chuckle, chuckle, it'll get your libido going, but it's really different than that, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it, it's not so much, say, like an aphrodisiac or something. Rather, it, this is interesting. Of course, I had to try it out <laughs> to see how that worked. And what I would say is I took it for a while. I was just more curious than anything. But I would honestly have to say, let's see, I was, I took, I tried that about 10 or 15, 10, 12 years ago, 15 years ago, is it made me as a male feel I was younger. Okay, this is what happened in terms of libido. It didn't give me more libido or make me more interested. It made me feel like my body used to feel. So it was a normal type of thing. It wasn't a whoa kind of. It was just like, hey, <laughs> I kind of feel a bit younger over here with all of that. And I really liked how that worked a lot. It felt very natural and very um, humanistic. Right. And it works for both genders that way, doesn't it? Oh, it works extremely well for both genders. And according to the studies from the companies, it works on all kinds of little mammals also, too. <laughs> <laughs> all the rabbits. Oh God, that was in the advertising. I won't even go into it, but they quoted all the stuff about little animals. And I thought, wow, I feel like a squirrel. <laughs> the whole thing. Where did you <laughs> bury your nuts, Mr. Squirrel? There you go. But it's a wonderful herb. And, you know, it just really helps an awful lot of people. It's not one of those you take for tons of energy, very truthfully. There's other herbs that work much better for that, like rhodiola we were talking about. But maca by itself is, is a very nice herb. It actually appears in our Menoese formula also, too. Mm -hmm. So would you use these in combination with the Adrenalese if you're dealing with a person that has been run down? Well... The rhodiola, you would on that. The maca, there'd be no reason for that. The safe energy is to provide energy, okay, when you need it. But the rhodiola is the one, to me, that actually we built from the, the basement up. You, it, but it's an extended period of time that you take it to let it do its work. So we're not talking a few weeks. We're talking six months, a year. I took it for a year and a half, and I normalized the doctor's wet. They could, first of all, they couldn't figure out why I survived. And then they called me the suicide guy when I told them I was running and doing all that weightlifting at the time and all of that. And they couldn't figure it out. I tried to explain it and they didn't believe in it. So I would say that if you want a single herb for recovery, rhodiola is your one. If you got low energy, adrenal is great. If you test for MTHFR, and these days, since they're saying that it's more than 40% of our society has that, I think everyone should test for it because truthfully, what we have found, we can take a particular problem that's reasonably common enough. There's enough of them, a lot of them. If the person does not have MTHFR, we go that way. If they have MTHFR, they, we go that way. There's not a middle ground in the two. So the way that we actually treat now has changed because I found that if the person does have MTHFR, that's the first thing you have to do is you have to treat the MTHFR. If you don't, everything else then probably won't work as well because you cannot get that into the cells. All right. So the expected use would be go get six bottles and uh, give it an honest try, two bottles a month, right? Yeah, that's the average dose on it. Um, they last about two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. yeah. Okay, wonderful. Elijah, thank you very much. Well, thank, thank you, you very much, Martin. I'm always so grateful to chat with you and everybody. Yeah, it's great to get the education. This is Martin Patella at Life Enthusiast. We are restoring vitality to you and to the planet.